but you can make out some really good sunspots, as you can see. And I'm really excited about this. All right, so now we're into the more advanced types of solar filters that are actually set up for some of your nighttime telescopes. Like here, we've got the Celestron Nexstar 6SE, and we've got the Celestron Nexstar Evolution 8. And with both of these telescopes, they are traditionally meant for nighttime observation. And we've got a solar filter that simply screws in onto the front. Now, the nice thing about these is, unlike other solar filters that just kind of um, are on there with a friction type of amount. Uh, these actually have little notches on them that click into the telescope and it makes it so that it's very much on there. So you can, you can be sure that, especially with this one here, it kind of turns and clicks in, um, that you're going to have a safe observing session and you're not gonna have to worry about these things falling off of your telescope um, like you would with some of the other options out there. So I really like these. Um, the ability to view with a large aperture like this is not so much the thing. So the size of your telescope is not as important as it is being able to magnify the image. I thought it would be important to show you all that prior to looking through a solar telescope when you're using one of these nighttime scopes, it's best practice to take off the finder scope. If someone were to accidentally put their eye up to it, even though it's not got any sort of magnification, it could be damaging. I'm also taking off the star sense auto align because I don't want that to get damaged either. All right, so it's a few days later and finally it's sunny. I wanted to take a moment to explain just how to find the sun when you're looking through a solar scope. Unlike at nighttime when you have a finder scope, with a solar telescope, you need to be able to find the sun without looking at the sun directly. One of my favorite methods is using the telescope's shadow to do just that. What you are going to try to do is to try to make the telescope's shadow as small as possible so that you are looking directly at the sun. Now you can use the hand controller to do this and simply turn the telescope so that it is facing the sun. You could do this also with you know, manual telescopes as well. It works on any type of telescope. And you'll see slowly but surely the, sorry if the wind is picking up here a little bit. Slowly but surely the shadow is turning so that you can see it getting smaller and smaller. And eventually what we're looking for is for the telescope's optical tube assembly. And in this case, this side part um, and the eyepiece to line up and make the smallest possible shadow. All right, I'm getting pretty close now. And that is going to get my azimuth. And now I'm going to change the altitude. And you'll notice it's getting smaller once again. And now I should be pretty close. Now I know, notice I do have the solar filter on the front. And now that I'm pretty close, I can dial it in. Sometimes you'll even see a little bit of uh, diffraction happening, little halos of light, and I can actually see that right now. They're getting closer and closer to the telescope. Oh, wow. There are just a bunch of sunspots on there right now. I'm going to try to show you the sun with the Celestron Next YZ telescope phone adapter. And all you do is you clamp this down on your eyepiece. All right, so we're going to try using the Celestron Next YZ cell phone telescope camera adapter. And we're going to place this on the back of the telescope, looking through the eyepiece. I'm going to confirm that the sun is in the eyepiece. So I gotta move the telescope so that it matches up. And now simply place your camera into the next YZ adapter. And finally, we just align the camera with the eyepiece using the knobs provided. Okay, so hopefully you can see the sun now is in my camera phone. 
And I'm just gonna hit record on that for a moment so that I can put some footage right here on the video. And you can see that as I adjust this up and down, that I can kind of change where the cameras on the phone are with respect to the eyepiece. And I can also adjust my focus over here on my actual telescope focus. And with those two, I can usually get a really nice looking picture. So this is a little short video. Once again, um, you know, my tracking here is off by a little bit, but you can make out some really good sunspots as you can see. And I'm really excited about this. You can even see some halos around some of these sunspots if you look closely enough. Let's see if I can zoom in on some of these. Change my focus here a little bit. So overall, the telescope is performing great. I love the NextYZ adapter. It's an easy way to get your cell phone aligned with the telescope, take some basic pictures, some basic videos, and just all around enjoy your telescope. And hopefully you get to enjoy the eclipse in that, that way as well. You can get your partial or total solar eclipse uh, footage right here on your cell phone. If you're interested in any of the products in this video, please consider clicking the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you nothing extra if you make a purchase and helps support Cosmos Safari bring the universe closer than you think.